Today we're going to start part four of our endangered animals project where we're going to add images to the site we've already made. So when you open the project, it looks something like this. It says to paste your code here. So you're going to copy over the HTML from the previous lesson uh, from your other page. So that page already looks like this. It should have the title. It should already be color coded just like this using the CSS rules for H1 and 2, and then the three classes that we made a few weeks ago. So we're going to copy all of this. So click at the top, just highlight everything, control C to copy it. And then I'm going to paste all of that here back onto today's assignment. Control V, let me just run and make sure it's all there. Great. I have all of my progress here. So let's see what we need to do today. You will add pictures to your page now. Under each animal's list, add a picture of the animal. If you cannot find a picture of the exact animal, find a picture as find a picture of a closely related animal. Uh, be sure to cite any picture that you use. So we're going to start with just that part. I have four animals here, and underneath the list. I need to add my image. So the first animal I have here, I'm just gonna add a little space, is this bear. So I'm gonna just copy the name of the bear, makes it easy. And then I'm gonna go to Google and find an image. Paste the name, okay, images. I wanna make sure I have the rights to use it. So I'm gonna go to tools, usage right, creative commons. And I'm going to look for some images. Now, I'm getting a lot of images that aren't actually the bear, so that's not great. But it looks like I have one here that I can use. So I have the image of the bear here that I can use for my page. I'm going to do the same thing that we've done before. Right click on the image, uh, copy image address. And then I'm going to go back into code HS here and I'm going to add in IMG SRC for the source equals. I'm going to paste that link here. It is pretty long, but that's okay. And then I'm going to add my alt equals there. And I can close my bracket here and let's run it and see the size, see if that works. So the picture is a little bit big um, of my bear. So I might want to just adjust the size a little bit. Um, height equals 200 px, width equals 300 px. Let's see if that works. Great. It's a lot smaller now. That looks fine. Um, as long as it fits on your page, that totally works for the image. So I have the name of the animal, the information, and then the image. Now, below the image, I do have to include my citation. So just like we've done before, I'm going to use my H6 tag. And I'm going to get the information about uh, my file here. So it this is the author. And it is on Wikipedia or Wikimedia Commons. So I'm going to write image from Wikimedia Commons created by, and then I put that author that I copied from the page, um, February 2014. And then I can add my link. So notice that it is still inside the H6 tag here. A H ref equals. And then I'm going to just copy the link from the Wikimedia page here. Control C. I will paste that in at the top. Then I close my bracket and you'll see my slash A has popped up here and I will type in link to image. 
that is all within my H6 tag here. Run. Awesome. I have where the image is from, who created it, all the information, and a link to it here. So now that I've done this for one animal, I'm just going to do the exact same process for the next three. So you start by looking up the image on Google. Make sure you are using a Creative Commons search. And then you will go into CodeHS, use your image tag, SRC, add the image, and then add your H6. This should be done for all four animals on your page.